Hi, this is Rob Manson with Teufelberger's Life Safety Group. Today we're doing the first installment in a series we're doing on rope inspection. This video will focus on the specs and the labeling and how to interpret and read those. Let's get started. So let's start with specs and labeling. When you're looking for specs and labeling, the first thing, obviously, is whether the labels are on the rope and they're legible. These things will wear down, will break down, will come off, so you need to have that information in your rope log so that you can relabel the ropes or have the ropes attached in a bag, something like that. Have the labels so you know what those are. Um, the second thing is to make sure that the rope is compliant with the hardware you're about to use. So if you're using a piece of hardware that requires an 11 mil Kern mantle, you need to make sure you have an 11 mil Kern mantle. You do that by reading the end band label. If you need a half inch rope, et cetera, et cetera, just make sure that the label is compliant with what you're about to use and meets the recommendations of that hardware manufacturer. They vary dramatically, so make sure that your hardware will work with the rope you're about to use every single time you use it. The second thing is to make sure the certifications that you're required to use for that rope are uh, met by that rope. So things like ANSI standards, uh, EN standards, CE, NFPA, depends on what you need for your industry, just make sure that that rope meets those standards. Uh, the other thing that you wanna check for is end of life. Make sure that rope still has useful life on it. Every manufacturer will have its own recommendations by rope. Um, on what the life expectancy of that rope is. You'll need to know that. You'll also need to check your rope log to make sure that rope hasn't met any hard conditions. So those, those are the first things you wanna check for on your rope inspection. Let's go through that in a little more close up. So now that you know what you're looking for, let's look at the labels themselves in some detail. Most life safety ropes will either have an NFPA label, a CE label, or both. Let's look at each one of those. We'll start with the NFPA label. The first things you want to look for on this label are the certifications that the rope is, is certified to, the product identification number, the name of the rope itself, the manufacturing lot number, which happens to also be the date of manufacture. In this case, the first two are the year and the second two are the month. So 2020, May, and the 29 is the date that it was manufactured on. The next thing you want to look for is the class of certification, the minimum breaking strength, the diameter to validate that it works with your hardware, the types of fibers that it's made out of, and the elongation on each of those. This information down here is the brand of rope. There are a lot of great brands out there, but there's only one great manufacturer. So that information should appear right here. And if your rope doesn't say Teufelberger Fiber Rope, you bought the wrong rope. Now let's look at the CE label. The CE label contains the same information, just in a slightly different format. Which certification it's certified to, in this case it's EN 1891. A, the diameter of the rope, the name of the rope, the date of manufacture, in this case is 2020-05, which is also in that same lot number, and the serial number for that rope. And now you know more than you ever wanted to about how to read the labels and specifications for a rope. 